living the beach life. Amen. Whew. Good morning, everybody. Sharing a view from atop of Shenandoah Mountain here in New York State. I am just north of Canopus State Park. Had every bit of trouble walking away from that beachfront property this morning. Um, was definitely thinking about taking a zero today, considering the pain I've been having in my right leg. And I'm gonna touch on that uh, briefly here this morning. Um, obviously, I am heading north once again. I very seriously considered uh, taking a break there, taking a zero, trying to heal a little bit, um, but Sometimes when I've strained something or pulled something, the best thing for it is just to keep moving at any pace possible and trying to work it out. I'm still kind of baffled what happened with, uh, with my right leg. And I'll just recap here a little bit about a day and a half ago, I was coming across Bear Mountain, a uh, beautiful area to hike. Oh my goodness, just view after view after view. Uh, but the price you paid for that was a ton of uh, climbing, stone steps, both on the ascent and descent. And I started to have some pain in my right leg and my lower leg uh, in the afternoon, that day that I was hiking Bear Mountain. Um, got into that evening, realized I was dealing with some sw uh, swelling. I thought it may have been because I didn't realize I had my socks pulled down just a little bit. Both my... Uh, darn tough wool sock and my uh, NJG sock and I thought that maybe I cut my circulation off of my leg not realizing it and just you know lack of blood flow and that muscle may have caused a problem and that still may be it in all honesty so two evenings ago rolled my leg out got back at it again yesterday and the pain was absolutely excruciating especially on the downhill um, thoughts that were coming to mind were possible shin splint. I've never had that occur before. So I did some research last night and, uh, I still really don't know what occurred. Uh, definitely dealing with some swelling and, you know, lots of pain in that area. And, you know, I've dealt with a lot of pain even before coming to the trail. And I'd like to think that my pain tolerance is pretty high. And I believe in, uh, you know, pushing through those aches and pains that kind of, you know, they're part of the journey. You get up and you keep going. That's it, you know. Um, really no other option. So today my goal is simple. Just try to keep myself in the right frame of mind. Focus on the positive. Put one foot in front of the other. And just go as far as I can without feeling that I'm hurting myself further. I do want to send a shout out to the staff at Canopy State Park and their support of through hikers, the designated camping area, everything they did to make us feel welcome. And very importantly, those folks take a lot of pride in that state park. Last evening was Friday night, busy day for them. And when the park closed down and the gates closed, all of the staff went out, picked up all of the garbage all over the park. And you could just see the pride in their faces. And when I woke up this morning and went up to the restroom area, everything was just spotless. Um, so hats off to that staff, really taking pride in their park. And I appreciate the opportunity to stay there, everyone. Pushing north. I'm grateful to be out here. One foot in front of the other. Headed to Katahdin, everyone. Shenandoah tenting area, everyone. Is this not awesome? Adirondack chairs, a picnic table, and look, someone even left a fire for me. Uh, you know what we got to do about that. Water for the fire pits, and even some lighter fluid. 
How about that? That wasn't too difficult to put out your fire, was it? Here's the big bonus at this very, very well-kept tenting site. Look at this, you guys. Bottled water right here. And I'm gonna help myself to just one of these because this is what it's gonna take to get me to RPH shelter. And five O's ahead of me, and he's already informed me that there's a water cache there. So I'm only gonna take one, just enough to get me there. And this campsite just keeps getting more awesome. Here's an actual privy built here at this campsite. And this was a uh, Boy Scouts of America Eagle Project by Jamie Young from Troop 82. Well done, Jamie, back in 1996. <laughs> Everyone, I'm coming into the RPH shelter area and discovered a really awesome uh, little tent site here. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around here and invite you guys to hit pause and read this dedication plaque. Give you a quick shot of the elevated tent platforms here. In memory of Harold, everyone. Hey everyone, here at the RPH Shelter, also known as the Ralph's Peak Hikers Cabin. Give you guys a quick look inside. On the inside here, we have a bunk system and they have some things put up right now because uh, the volunteers were doing some sweeping earlier. So they have six bunks in here and you can also fit a few bodies on the floor as well. And you can see um, there was an upstairs here and some unlucky hiker kind of fell through the attic so they had to close that area off. And uh, they just pretty much embalmed the poor fella. and. Uh, you see that we're definitely rocking some ultras there. A special shout out and thank you to the volunteers who uh, maintain this location. Thank you so much for the water cache. Now back they have the ultimate lounge area, a uh, porch with a roof over it, as well as a few loungers out here. And don't think that I wasn't taking a break there just a few minutes ago. Also several tent sites in the area. And what would a well-loved shelter area be without a flower garden.
Okay, everybody, I'm all set up here at the Morgan Stewart Shelter at mile 1440.8. That is going to give me an even 14 miles for the day. And I got to be honest, I'm still reevaluating things as far as uh, what's going on with my leg and everything. And I'm not so sure I should have put these miles in today. I'm actually very seriously considering taking an on trail zero tomorrow and just propping my leg up and uh, just resting and try to recover a little bit. So, uh, I'm going to give that some more thought and I'll make my decision in the morning. Um, thanks very much, everybody, for walking with me. Thanks for watching Wild on a Trail. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night.